1965 SS Cove molding that was dented and polished too aggressively resulting in burn through. We are using Super Alloy 1 and a propane torch to close these holes. First we dip the rod into the honey flux and quickly heat the very thin aluminum. It's already at a working temperature as we see the flux turn brown. Then we paint the rod over and across the hole. That's all there is to it. Notice we are working in a vertical position. Customers often ask if the Super Alloy 1 can work in a vertical position. Now we're just smoothing out the solder with wood before sanding or grinding. If you see any low spots, you can always reheat and reapply flux and rod for the desired finish. Like many other vintage parts, these moldings are extremely hard to find. When you want to keep it original, of course, you repair the ones you have. After cooling naturally, just use water and a wire brush to remove that flux residue. It's just that simple. After a little finish work with the tools at hand, Super Alloy 1 made the repair with absolutely zero warpage to the aluminum. I'm sure the classic car owner was happy we had the right tool for thin aluminum. But wait, he brought two moldings and this hole is much larger than the last. We did not have a piece of wood that could fit behind as a backing plate, so we're going to build across the large rip in the aluminum. We are going to build from the bottom and work our way towards the top. Let it cool for a second, come back in, add some more flux and rod, burn the rod off, let it cool for a second, and keep working. It can take 10 to 15 seconds for the rod to cool enough to set up, so we are editing the cooling time. The reason we are cooling between passes is the solder will run thin at higher temperature and could fall through the large hole due to no backing plate. With a backing plate, there is no need for a cooling period. You can always add flux to cool the solder and flush away the darkened flux. Some customers will purchase an extra bottle as they want to use the flux in a liberal fashion. Of course, after cooling, we use water and a wire brush to remove the flux residue, and then we use a little Dremel tool to grind the high spots. This was a simple fix for the Super Alloy 1. The aluminum was too thin for MIG and TIG welding. Over polishing created the problem, Super Alloy 1 has done the impossible yet again. Super Alloy 1, Rod and Flux from MuggyWell.com.